Hello and welcome back to the How to Make Any Game Mechanics series. In this episode, we're going to be taking a look at the 2D Jump. I've already gone ahead and made a new folder and new scene called Episode 2. And with our blank scene, let's right click, Create, 2D, Square, and call it Player. Next, we're going to duplicate our player and call it Ground. I'm then going to scale our ground, move our ground down, click on our player, and give it a box collider and a rigid body. Next, I'm going to right click, create a new C -sharp script, and I'm going to call this something like jump controller. And with our script created, let's open it up. Inside our script, let's start by creating a reference to the rigid body. So you can just get that and start. And then let's make a bool. Serialize field, private, Bool is grounded. Next, let's make another serialized field. Private transform ground ray transform. And I'm just going to move this to the feet of our player when we create it. And then another serialized field, private layer mask. Ground layer. We can do a few more. Serialize field. Private int. Num jumps. And a private int jumps left. So the idea behind this jump is we are going to raycast downward from the player, see if there is a ground under our feet. And if there is, we're going to apply a force upward, reduce our jumps left from the num jumps value that we set in the inspector. When you have zero jumps, you can no longer jump. And when you touch the ground, it resets to whatever the num jump value is that we set. So let's get started. Let's change our update to fixed update. And in our fixed update, we can see if the ground is below our feet. Is grounded is equal to physics 2D dot line cast. And let's do transform dot position for the start value and the ground ray transform dot position for the end position. Next, we're going to use our layer mask to only check for the ground. And that's it. So now when the ground is below our feet, this will be true. And when it's not, it will be false. While we're still in our fixed update, we can reset the jumps when you are on the ground. If grounded is true, then jumps left equals our num jumps. Now we can create an update function. We can get our input. Let's use the space key. And if we have jumps, Greater than zero. RB dot add force. For three dot up. We don't have a jump force, so let's add that in now. We can add it below num jumps. Private and jump force. Scroll back down. Times this by the jump force. And now we can subtract one from our jumps. 
For our more controlled jump, and to help with our double jump, we can zero out the velocity right before we add force. RB dot velocity equals vector three dot zero. And all vector three does zero is, is just zero, zero, zero. Zero velocity in the X in the Y and in the Z. There is one more thing that we need to add to this script and it is a timer. The reason we need a timer is because when we spam the jump key to jump, there's a split second where the raycast is still going to be touching the ground and we don't want it to apply multiple jumps. Before we do that, let's head back into Unity and take a better look at why we might want to implement a jump timer. Back in Unity, if I scroll down to the jump controller, you can now see that we have all of these values. Let's start with the ground ray transform. What we're going to want to do is right click, create empty, and let's call this ground ray transform. This is a child of the player and will move when the player moves. Let's zoom in and put it at the player's feet. Back on the jump controller, let's drag and drop the ground ray transform into the ground ray transform slot. Next, let's do the ground layer. We can assign a layer by clicking the ground, going to layer and adding a layer. Let's call it ground. Click back on the ground and now assign the new layer. Perfect. Okay, on the player, scroll down, go to the jump controller, and where it says ground layer, let's select the ground. You can also select any other layer and mix and match, but I just want the ground layer. Next, num jumps, let's put one for now, and jump force, we can do something like 250. Now, when we hit play, our player falls, and when we hit jump, he jumps. Perfect. Let's try spamming that spacebar. You can see that he gets two jumps. Well, this isn't what we want. So we're going to have to add the jump timer in. So let's uncheck play and head back into Visual Studio Code. In Visual Studio Code, let's add our jump timer. Private flow jump timer. Now let's add some time to our jump timer. Jump timer plus equals time dot fix delta time. And this is just going to add a very small constant number to the jump timer. Next in our is grounded statement, let's do and jump timer is greater than or equal to 0.5 F. And all this is doing is seeing if our jump timer has hit 0.5 seconds, which should be enough time for us to get off of the ground. Next, in update, after we jump, let's set the jump timer to zero. And that's all there is to it. Let's head back to Unity and test it out. Back in Unity, if I hit play, our character falls, I can jump per normal, but now there's no double jump. Perfect, this is exactly what we want, and probably a good stopping point for this video. As always, a link to the GitHub will be in the description. If you have a suggestion for a future game mechanic video, leave it in the comments. Also, you can always find me on Discord where I hang around frequently and you can meet a lot of like-minded individuals. But that's just about it for this video. See you guys next week.